Hi, this is Kay from IK Jewel. Quick tutorial on how to print the one inch bottle cap images. So I'm going to go to my start menu and I'm going to go to pictures. And this is where I have my folder with my bottle cap images. So I'm just going to double click on the folder. And then I'm going to double click on the image I want to print. And that opens up in Windows Photo Gallery. If you've bought a computer in the last few years and it runs on Windows, you'll, you'll have this on your computer already. It came free with it. It may not be the default program that you have for viewing photos. So you might have, you know, double clicked your image and some other program opened up. If that happens, just close the other program out. And then go here, just put your cursor over top of the image and right click. And then go down to open with. And then look for Windows Photo Gallery and click on that. This is one to print from and since it's standard on just about all computers everybody pretty much has it. So we're just going to go to print and then we're going to click print again and select your printer and I've got the Kodak one there. The paper size you want to select 4x6 inches are the file itself is huge, it's not 4 by 6 inches, but it is designed so that when you print to 4 by 6 paper, the image will print at 1 inch, so you have to make sure that you print to 4 by 6, otherwise your images will not be 1 inch, they'll be what, much, much bigger, especially if you print to 8.5 by 11. And then for image quality, not all printers are going to have this option, but if you have it, definitely select the 600 by 6 dots per inch. And the more dots, the better the, the quality of the image. And then for paper type, I'm going to select other photo paper, glossy photo paper. You can print on cardstock or regular paper, but the images are going to look best if you print them on glossy photo paper. The next thing I want to make sure is that there's a checkbox where it says fit picture to frame. And I'll show you if I uncheck that, it shrinks this image. You can see when it's unchecked it's smaller. What that does is it puts a white border around the edge of the picture and in order to do that it shrinks your image so when your circles print they're going to be a little smaller than an inch. So you want to make sure you have fit to picture frame and that's going to make it go all the way to the edge of the paper and your circles will actually print at one inch. Next click on options and click on printer properties. Now every printer is going to have its own variation of options. So yours might look like this, they might look a little different. Um, for my printer I can select best and that's going to give me the best quality print. You may have an option that says text, document, photo, best photo. So you want to go, if you have those options, go with photo or best photo, whatever sounds like the best quality photo um, it's going to give you. And there's a few variations, but they're pretty much easy to figure out which one's going to give you the best. The other thing is, this one gives me an option of printing borderless. And on this printer, I need to check borderless. If you have a borderless option, you have to check it. Otherwise, it's going to do what the other option was doing, where it's going to put a white border around the picture, and it's going to shrink your images, and they're not going to print out at one inch. So you want to make sure you check borderless. If you open this up and on your printer you have options like fit to printer margin or shrink to margins, those options you don't want to check because essentially they're doing the same thing. They're going to create a white border around your picture. So if it was your first time printing these images and you can't understand why they keep printing out smaller than one inch, it's one of these margins, borders kind of options. So you just have to make sure whatever you're checking it's not going to shrink your picture so for this one it's pretty obvious I just want borderless it's going to go to the full page and I'm going to click OK and I know that sounds confusing but it's very very simple don't check anything that's going to shrink your image that's all you got to worry about and that's it the next thing to do is go and click print make sure you have your 4x6 paper in the printer and you're ready to go I'm going to click cancel instead of print because I print a lot and I don't want to waste my ink on a tutorial. But that's it. Um, there's other tutorials you can find um, on my page and it's if you want to print to 8.5 by 11 in Microsoft Word or if you want to try and crop images so you can print a lot of times um, there's multiple pictures 
different pictures on these circles and sometimes you only want one of them so there's also a tutorial so if you want to just print one of those pictures instead of using up all of your ink on all 15 images we'll show you that so you can check out the site and just see the different tutorials but for now that'll get you started printing and that's all good luck and have fun making your bottle cap crafts <laughs>